Welcome back to another video. I hope you're having an amazing day. In today's video, I will be opening up more Pokemon Temporal Forces to see if I can pull something for my Pokemon Temporal Forces binder. Now, me personally, I've had some pretty good luck with Temporal Forces, but a lot of people are like comparing it to like battle styles with the pull rates. But in my opinion, the pull rates have been pretty good for me in this set. So we're gonna open it up, we're gonna see what we can pull and if we can add anything to my Temporal Forces binder. But before we do that, hello, my name is Josh Pokestep. I hope you're having an amazing day and I say, let's get into it. So if I remember correctly, this will be the first video of November. So we are officially in November. I mean, when I'm filming this, it's still October, but by the time the video goes up, it will be November, which is crazy. This year has like flown by. Speaking of which, I saw a turkey. Okay, we've got the dice and the coins. I have so many of these, I have no idea what to do with them. What do you guys do with them? What do you do with the dice and the coins if you open up a bunch a like a bunch of elite trainer boxes and stuff? Because obviously I do three openings a week. Here's a code card. So I have an abundance of them. So I have no idea what to do with them, but I do know what to do with these 26 energies. We're gonna set those over there. Um, and then we've got the promo card. Um, I could just throw them away. I know they're really not worth much of anything. So there's really no point in trying to sell them or anything. Here's the walking wake dividers, nothing on that side, but look at that walking wake right there. We got that. We'll set over there. Um, and then we've got the sleeves, the walking wake sleeves, which are very cool. And on the inside, they come with, if it will focus, focus focus it comes with 27 card sleeves 27 27 okay so there's that and it comes with um i'm actually gonna keep this i'm gonna put that right down there for now um and then it comes with the nine pack so we got two four, six, eight, nine. We gotta pick the lucky one, which is this one right here. So we will set that one right there. Let me move my sleeves. Okay, here we go. We're moving right along. We're gonna see if I can pull something that I need for my temporal forces binder. But like I said, we are in November. What are your like goals for the last couple months of 2024 because 2024 is coming to an end and i would love to know if you have any goals that you're trying to accomplish um what do you want to do before the end of the year let me know down below um me personally i have actually hit two of my goals for 2024 i made it a goal to reach 1000 subscribers before the end of the year and uh i actually hit like a thousand subscribers in like january or february of this year i think um and then i was actually able to monetize my channel to where i could like do channel members and stuff um i still can't run ads so if you want to keep watching my videos i would appreciate it but i was able to i got a thousand subscribers and i was able to monetize the channel which were two goals of mine Ooh, reboot pod let's go um two of my goals to do that um and then honestly just another goal is to continue having fun with opening pokemon cards because i am so passionate about pokemon i i love pokemon so much i grew up with it now sure watching openings of me in my bedroom could be kind of like boring or like repetitive but it is a ton of fun for me and if i can like spread some positivity and open pokemon packs at the same time then it is a win win um and i try to do that in every single video i say some like positive stuff at the end of every single video like keep being amazing keep being awesome and the world is a better place with you and i say that at the tag of every single video because i mean it you know um 
you're amazing in your own way. You are unique. You, uh, you're incredible. You are loved and you're cared for. And honestly, like I said, the world is in fact a better place with you in it. I know it might seem like that all the time, but it is so true. Just do a kickflip and you will be happy. Yo, do a kickflip! We got Metagross, Cottony, and a Gouging Fire EX. Let's go. Let's go. I will sleeve that up for sure. Look at that Gouging Fire. It looks so good. Okay, here we go. Moving right along. Um, but honestly, the next, so when this video goes up, we will have a week until the release date of Surging Sparks, which is November 8th, if I remember correctly. Um, I have a Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box coming, and I'm hoping to get some more products. I'm going to try to get a booster box. I'm not entirely sure if I will be able to get one just yet, but I'm hoping I can. Um, but we will definitely have some products to open for sure. Croconaw and an Iron Thorns. Let's go. Okay. And some of these reverses I might actually need. Because I am still trying to do a master set. Which means I'm trying to pull every single card. Reverse, hollow, and non-hollow. Uh, hollow rare. Any and every card that I can pull that I might need. I'm going to add it to the binder. Fire energy. Here we go. We got water. The exact opposite. Roly Coley. We got heat more. Aw, look at Yamper. You're so cute. Okay, we got Torquette. You are so, so cute. Okay, now we got Rabombi Hand Trimmer. Zzz, ow, I cut myself. I'm just kidding. That happened at work. We got Shaman. We got Mudsdale. And then a Roaring Moon. I really do like Roaring Moon. It is like an ancient Pokemon of like Salamence or whatever. Um, and Salamence is in my top 10 of favorite Pokemon. So having like an ancient form of it is very cool. Um, okay, here we go. Here's a code card. Take that. Let me know what you get. One to the front. Guess it with me. I'm going to say, let me see if I can feel it. Leaf energy. I actually got it. Let's go. Okay. We got Turtwig, Poochiana. We got Wiglet, Meltan, Eerie, 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 Buddy Buddy Poffin. We got Colossal, Mr. Mime, and... I threw, I threw the Colossal, but we did get a Wug Trio, so I will definitely take that. Let's go. I'm pretty sure I've pulled this one, but still, this is such a cool card. Okay, here we go. We've got a Temporal Forces right here. We still got some more chances to pull something that we might need. I'm pretty sure of the three cards that we've gotten so far, I'm pretty sure I have all three of those. Um, but I will definitely have to check the binder. Um, let's see. Lightning. Mm, we got fire that time. Okay, here we go. We got Mubray, Ghastly, Finizen, Dunsparce, Cenoscorch, Palafin, Eerie. We got Roselia, Electabuzz, and a Mel Metal. So nothing too exciting there, but that is okay because we have one final pack left. And what I do for the final pack of every single video is what I call the double pack blessing. The double pack blessing. Now, what is the double pack blessing? I'm going to tell you right now. You take the flap on the back of the pack. You go from the top to the bottom eight times. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put the pack in between your hands ever so gently. You want to be nice to the cards because if you're nice to the cards, they will be nice to you. But you should honestly just do that for really about everything in life. Just be nice. Be a positive person. Be be just nice and generous and things will good things will happen okay and then i almost skipped the part <laughs> and then you put the pack in between your hands you take a deep breath in and a deep breath out <laughs> then you do that one more time take a deep breath in and a deep breath
Okay, so now that I have doubly blessed the pack, I'm guaranteed to pull something amazing. Now, is that true? Absolutely not. You're not guaranteed anything other than a hollow rare if you're opening the Scarlet and Violet era. Now, is that the point of opening Pokemon cards? Absolutely not. The point of opening Pokemon cards is to have fun and enjoy yourself. Maybe you open packs to put together a deck so you can battle your friends, or maybe you compete at your local card shop in their local Pokemon card tournament. Or maybe you just collect the cards. Maybe you're trying to complete master sets. There's no right way or wrong way to play Pokemon, but as long as you're having fun, that is truly all that matters as we end on a Mel Metal. We got three very cool cards. I had a great time. I hope you did too. And with that being said, Thank you so much for watching this video. I do upload three days a week. I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe with notifications on. That way you never miss a single video. Once you click the subscribe button, the screen's going to change colors. It's going to spin in circles. I'm going to get dizzy. You're going to get dizzy. We're all going to get dizzy. We might even have a dance party. I don't know. You got to click the subscribe button to find out. And with that being said... Keep being amazing. Keep being awesome. The world is a better place with you in it. Click on the two videos over there. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Have an amazing day.